Hi, everybody. Hub Arkish along with Kevin Fishman and Arthur Arkish reporting from Hellas Hall on the first day of the Bears' mandatory minicamp. And, folks, you probably know by now what the story was. Martellus Bennett is back, and Kevin, to talk to Marty, it's almost as if he was never gone. Yeah, you know, he actually kept his answers pretty short, which was unmarty like And then at the end, he started to kind of spin his soliloquies like we're used to and start comparing things to books and cartoons and whatnot. So he made it clear that there, he wants a new contract, but he also acted like it wasn't that big of a deal that he was missing. Yeah, Arthur, I thought what was interesting is he had a pretty good explanation for why he wants a new contract. It was friendly. He wasn't angry about anything. And I think he made it clear that he's going to be here. Hopefully he'll get the deal he wants. Yeah, I think so, too. And his explanation was that if there's anyone out there that works hard and believes they're uh, filling their end of the bargain, they should always be looking for a new contract. So it kind of makes sense. Obviously, it was kind of Marty speak as well. But, yeah, he was asked point blank if he plans to be there for training camp. He said he does, but he also left that a little open-ended. Anything can happen. It was really kind of vintage Bennett after, like Kevin said, he kind of expanded on some of his answers a little bit. Kevin, we've spent the better part of the last six seasons analyzing what might be new about Jay Cutler. I don't think there's any debate after talking to Jay today. He's more relaxed. He's calmer. He's grown in this. I don't know if he's going to be a better quarterback, but he seems in a better place to, to succeed. Well, it's another new playbook for him. This is a new rodeo for him, but it's not. I mean, he's done this before. He jokes. He's jo This is the second time this offseason he's made a joke about the fact that another year, another offensive coordinator, another new playbook to learn. And I think the other thing that kind of helps him in this is, yes, he's learning a new playbook, but he has Alshon on Jeffrey. He's got Martellus Bennett back. He's got Matt Forte. Four of his offensive linemen are back. So I think that makes the learning curve a little bit easier. Arthur, we could probably guess five, six, seven of the starters on defense, but there's one guy we know for sure. Jeremiah Ratliff is going to be the key to a lot of what this team wants to do this year. Whether he starts on the nose or at the five, we don't know, but he's the one guy right now who's anchored on this defense. Yeah, and that's a, a good thing to have. Obviously, they need some experience. He brings it. He did tell me today he was working at nose, but he anticipates playing multiple positions. He just said he feels refreshed to still be playing football. He's 34 years old. He's a three-time Pro Bowl. He said he doesn't care about Pro Bowls anymore. He wants to win, but there's no question he's going to rub off on some of his younger teammates and be a great asset that this defense desperately needs. All right, folks, that's day one of minicamp here at Hallis Hall. Lots more coming Wednesday, Thursday. We've got it all for you 24-7 at chicagofootball.com. On behalf of all of us at Chicago Football, congratulations, Blackhawks, and bye-bye playoff period.